Hey guys, it's Narelle here and welcome back to a new video and I know all of you guys are probably thinking this doesn't look like an OC of Narelle's. We are supposed to get a OC bio for today and honestly guys, Inktober is happening right now and my whole past weekend I've just been spending time on finishing up commissions that I have and just getting everything that I needed to do done. So I really didn't have enough time to sit down and record an OC bio for this week So hopefully you forgive me and next week I will start them back up again And I really do think this is kind of a sweet idea because you've been seeing nothing but OC bios For every Monday and I know a lot of you guys are like Narelle that's fine We don't care but just treat this as a break that you guys kind of need and then next week it'll be started up again so yes so in this video I will be coloring the vocalist from the band Good on the Real and I legit wanted to draw this guy for so long but I was like my skills as an artist isn't up to where I want it to be so I saved him for the right moment because I am actually really liking my realism skills right now so yes so I did go on Google and searched up an image I really wanted to do of him and I found this image which is on the left hand side of the screen you can kind of see it in my viewfinder but I found that one image and I liked it because I liked his facial expression in the image it looks really soft and it looks really gentle and I'm like I have to go with this one so how I went about the coloring is that I toned him in a muted blue color because if you look at the image it's blue all the lighting all the color source is blue and I'm like let me try the toning method that I see a lot of artists do on their digital paintings and honestly I really like it I don't see much of a difference the only difference you can really see with this if you um, change the opacity of the blue color it'll make his skin and everything on top of the blue darker and lighter which I think is pretty cool so that's the difference you can see but where I have it now is perfect for this piece so yeah I did that and the only thing I had a lot of trouble with honestly was his face even when I finished the, the quote unquote line art for this picture I hated his face and I thought hey let me just color his face and let's just see how that goes and even when I finished the coloring of his face I'm like man I still hate how his face looks so you'll mainly see me change his mouth because his mouth on the image is very gentle and I'm like let me see if I can mock that and I just could not get that to work for the life of me so you will see a lot of changes to his mouth in this whole video but I did come to a compromise that I really liked and I think it kind of made the picture shine a little bit so yeah so right now you're seeing me color his shirt and I am super happy for what I did with the shirt so basically I erased all the lines I I did for his shirt because his shirt is white and if you see his white shirt has no guidelines like you see nothing and I'm like you know what let me just painterly paint his shirt and I freaking love that I did that because I really feel like with line art some lines are needed and some lines are not needed so I really felt like the shirt lines really wasn't needed so I really liked how I rendered the shirt and made the shirt look more like a white shirt if you kind of feel me so yes so now i'm doing a background and honestly this is honestly i don't know why i said that twice but this is honestly one of my favorite mock backgrounds that I have done for any of my realistic pieces because with my realistic pieces I do not spend time on the backgrounds themselves because I am not here to do the background I'm here to do the person so I try to make the background look as real as possible and I freaking love this background <laughs> so the background is a 100 out of a 100 but him himself is like a 90 out of 100 because again I really wish his face came out a lot better because if I say something honestly about this piece 
I can't even, I can't even tell it's him because his face doesn't give me his features. So that's the reason why I really want to redraw this piece later on in the road and see. Alrighty, so I had to go get the phone. But anyways, I want to really redo this piece later down in the road to see if I can render him a little bit better than I did in this. So overall, I like how this piece turned out. Like I always say, you're not going to do perfect drawings 100% of your life. You're going to have a lot of drawings that you're just like, man, I could have done better. And honestly, this is one of those drawings where I'm like, I could have done better with this one. But like I always say, my realism pieces are not finished artworks they are just for me to practice how people look in real life and how I can apply my skills on a realistic face if that makes any lick of sense but anyways thank you guys so much for watching give this a like comment and a share if you want your friends to see it and I will see you this Friday <laughs> with a new sketchbook update for my sketchbook for July to August I believe so watch out for this Friday so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys